Hello, my name is Anne Pereira. I have been working for the last almost 40 years as a uh, food and nutrition consultant um, and working for different food companies, universities and research institutes. I went to Tanzania on a volunteer service abroad uh, assignment. One of the things that I uh, did there, which I like to share with you, is uh, the full utilization of the banana crop. The banana blossom which uh, comes at the end of the bunch and the green peel of banana as well as the pith in the middle of the stem can also be converted into delicious and nutritious uh, vegetable dishes. So I was surprised how uh, they were throwing this uh, banana blossom and also other parts of the banana um, out um, into the rubbish bins as well as uh, feeding their goats and cattle um, with this product. I started cooking the banana blossom at, in my home and I took some samples to work and gave uh, to my colleagues there and uh, they tasted and uh, I first didn't tell them what it was and they said oh you know they couldn't believe when I said it was banana blossom. Banana is um, known for its um, rich uh, vitamin and minerals, especially potassium, vitamin B6. Tanzania very specially has a wide range of vegetables and fruits. Um, if they use them uh, to the maximum benefit, health benefit, it could really help uh, to feed the nation, not only Tanzania, but all of Africa, I thought. Um, but banana on the whole as a versatile crop could do much more than what it's doing right now. Like this, the banana blossom that um, is the leftover part after the bunch is completed on top. And this part is normally thrown away or fed to animals. But this is a very good source of uh, nutrients as well as a, it gives a delicious vegetable when cooked. Uh, to eat with ugali or rice or chapati bread. This peel can also be used into a, a nice vegetable. With that, the stem of the banana, which is a long thing like this, on which you get the leaves like this. In the middle of this stem, once you remove the leaf sheets like these, there is a pith in the center which looks like this. Now this can be cut into small pieces and uh, cooked into a third vegetable. So these are three products that were not currently used uh, when I was living in Tanzania that I uh, started showing people how to make and uh, they were really impressed. So. We don't use the outer petals of this uh, banana blossom. They can be still used as animal feed. So some people do ask me, you know, if we don't, if we eat this, what do we feed the animals? So we can still feed the animals with these outer ones. The first thing I have to do is to prepare some salt water even before I start cutting this. I have already prepared and even cut some banana blossoms earlier and put it here. So I'm going to continue. So now I will add the onions. The amount of the onions can be controlled by the amount of the banana blossom. So I just use this much and start. browning it and into the same thing I will also use and the crushed garlic and the banana blossoms that we kept in the salt water now we can start adding by squeezing the salt water out as much as possible because we don't want it to be too salty because some of the salt will come through into the vegetable 
we need to cook until the banana blossom is well cooked. So once it gets cooked halfway through, the pepper, green pepper, can be added. And it's nice to which gives the color as well as the flavor and the nutritional value and I will add the tomatoes at the end so that it doesn't go into the sauce. Now while we are doing this, this is a good time to add salt and curry powder as well. Pilau masala, about half a teaspoon into. The best way to test uh, whether it is cooked enough is to get a little piece and taste and see whether it still has the raw flavor. Just a little bit more. Now it's a good time to add tomatoes and it will also add moisture into the product as well as good color and help us to finish off the dish. And this is an optional ingredient. We can add coconut milk a little bit. I will, so it looks very nice even without coconut milk. When you add coconut milk it kind of binds everything together just a little bit. And this is a good time to turn off the fire. So we are ready with this. Now this goes very well with um, rice. It's the same cooking. quite nice isn't it? I really appreciate the opportunity that I had uh, through VSA Volunteer Service Abroad to do the two-year volunteer assignment in Tanzania and also all the beautiful people whom I met there I'd like to say a big thank you. Asante sana.